Okay, so here we are at the Wingmasters Field in Dayton, Ohio. And we're going to try this thing again. I haven't put up a prior video on it, but um, I've lowered the motor since the last flight and uh, flipped the battery up on top trying to raise the CG and get the motor closer to the CG. Um, it's This is the closest configuration to what it's flown as before. Here's what my... Uh, Here's what my CG looks like. I think I'm hanging at about 15 degrees. And let me show you the vertical CG. The vertical CG is about where that tang is on the canopy coming back to the stab. So it's below the motor mount. I'm sorry, coming back to the, uh, to the mast. So it's below the motor mount. Um, a little bit, but it, was, it flew prior in this configuration. Now the last time I took it out and flew it, um, it left the ground nicely and immediately pitched up and fell over. So uh, we see the uh, road rash on top of the blades from the black blacktop runway. So we're not going to do that this time, I hope. Um, now it may seem out of balance, but the blades just aren't centered. So we'll center those up before we give it a try. We got a gentle breeze, so that should help me. Um, Run a 1300 kV motor, nine, um, an 8.4 uh, GWS hyperdrive prop, a tractor prop um, flipped around with the correct side forward. Uh, I feel like it's got a little too much power. I probably should have 1150 kV motor, something like that for this size. Um, Talon 25 speed control. These are some cool little GWS high torque mini servos. Uh, 256 push rods going up to the uh, fully articulated head. Um, they're a little bit flexible, so I may upgrade these to 440 or perhaps solder ends on music wire so that they're really stiff instead of that soft wire. But that's the basic configuration. I got a 2200 pack. Um, Peter's had a little more success with 1300 size batteries, a little lighter batteries on a similar rotor diameter, so maybe I'll change that. But there it is, that's the overview.